The Australian share market is coming under pressure down by 1.2 percent. It comes after China has retaliated on the U.S. move to raise tariffs on Chinese goods from 10 to 25 percent on Friday. The Chinese have set the tariffs at different rates for different goods, unlike the blanket rate that the U.S. has set. But that saw the U.S. stock market down by 2.4 percent overnight for the S&P 500, and safe haven plays very much in focus. We also saw Uber, the largest IPO of the year, have its second trading day and the stock fell 11% on the market. Having a look at those safe haven flows and in terms of currencies, we're seeing money flowing into the Japanese yen, the US dollar and the Swiss franc. And that means the Aussie dollar is coming under pressure, trading at 69.5 US cents coming into the Asian session. Also impacting the market is NAB, which is trading ex-dividend. Its shares trading down 5% on the market. However, gold is outperforming with Evolution mining up by 7% and Silver Lake also gaining 7% on the market. Having a look at some company news and we've seen Invocare out with its first quarter update. Its shares up by 2%. It's seen, seen operating earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization rise by 22% year on year. Gross sales revenue also up by 8%. On the flip side, Main Farmer out with a profit downgrade. Its stock tumbling 13%. It says that it's been impacted by the competitive environment in the generics market at the moment. So all in all, a pretty vivid day for the Aussie share market. All sectors are in the red. The only real bright spot seems to be gold and a little bit of green in that property space.